Did you know that Ashoka University has the only covalent magnetic tweezer in India? Developed by Dr. Shubhashish Haldar. When you run or stretch, several muscle proteins inside your body are working under force. Your proteins are under force even during processes such as translation, translocation or degradation. To understand the effect of force, Dr. Shubhashish Haldar from Ashoka University, who works in the field of mechanical biochemistry, has introduced the covalent magnetic tweezer. The covalent magnetic tweezer at Ashoka University is the first magnetic tweezer in India. It's actually very tough to understand how the protein work under force inside our body. Uh, to understand that, actually we established covalent magnetic tweezer with the help of Professor Julio Fernandez from Columbia University. So there is a lot of advantage in covalent magnetic tweezer. If we think about the other force spectroscopy techniques like AFM, or optical tweezer, then you can think that with AFM or optical tweezer, we can hold a particular protein for 50 seconds, 100 seconds, sometimes 200 seconds. But in magnetic tweezer, you can actually hold a particular protein constantly for two weeks. For the CMT, an octomer of the same protein is used. One end of the protein is stitched to the glass using halo tag chemistry while the other end is stitched to a paramagnetic bead using biotin streptavidin chemistry. The protein that you see inside this chamber is a billionth of the width of a single strand of hair. The CMT allows you to increase the force on the protein by changing the position of the magnet the magnet can move at a constant velocity or can be adjusted instantaneously to best suit your experiment. Now, let's take a look at a real-time experiment. Here, at first, you stitch a protein. Then, increase the force on the protein by pushing the magnet downwards. The protein unfolds in a stepwise manner. As we have an octoma, you should see eight steps. In the second step, we decrease the force by pulling the magnet. As we decrease the force, the protein refolds. Again, as we have an octoma, we have eight refolded steps. In this force range, we see the proteins hopping between the folded and the unfolded states and thus giving us data about the equilibrium. With the covalent magnetic tweezer, you can assess unfolding kinetics, refolding kinetics and equilibrium on the same plot with a single protein. So the best feature of covalent magnetic tweezer is that here you can test several drugs in a very small time. So how you do you do that? At first you need to choose a protein check the activity of the protein then add your drug check the activity then if you are not satisfied wash it put your second drug check the activity once again if you are not happy wash it put the third drug check the activity of the drug once again and this is how you can actually test several drugs in a very small amount of time thus the covalent magnetic tweezer could have an important role in the dark discovery systems as well. You know what's the most amazing part? The whole instrument, we build it in less than 4 lakhs rupees. If we are thinking of buying a similar setup, it would actually cost few crores. The Physics Nobel Prize in 2018 was awarded to Arthur Ashkin for his 1987 invention of the optical tweezer that allows living cells to be held with laser beam fingers. The covalent magnetic tweezer is so path-breaking 
because it uses magnetic force to examine molecules. Ashoka University proves to be a pioneer in cutting-edge scientific research.